How's it going everybody? I got something really cool in the mail before heading to Hamcation and I actually took it with me on Hamcation. Had a lot of fun with it when we were on the road in the hotel room. This is the Farah J EMP cloth foldable like cloth J-pole antenna. You might have seen Mike KMRD's Ham Radio Tubes video on this. Check this out, man. You can even put a call sign on it. So this came from Ham Radio Rookie. And as you know, I love folding J-poles. They're my favorite. In fact, I have my Ed Fong here, which right now is my normal pack and carry folding J-pole. But this Farah J packs down smaller. So the real question is, what's the performance like between these two? Because although this is really portable, is it gonna be as good as the Ed Fong? Also, we've changed the testing criteria up a little bit, so this should be the definitive answer, the best way to test a J-pole on the Ham Radio Crash Course. Let me show you how we're gonna do it. This is my Weaver throw bag and line. I'm gonna throw a line into the tree so we have no resonant materials nearby, just this cordage. We're gonna hang the J-poles on it. We're gonna get them to the exact same height and we're gonna test using my SDR at home receiving signal strength and audio coming out of my radio. So let me set this up. Bingo. All right, so we're gonna use the Adventure Frequency 146.580. Kilo India 6, November Alpha Zulu, testing the Ed Fong J pole. Kilo India 6, November Alpha Zulu. Switch up frequencies. So Ed Fong contacted me and he said that, well, you have two meters, you pick up 70 centimeters as a even harmonic, but it's tuned primarily at 446 megahertz. So that's exactly what we have here. That's good because that's 70 centimeter national calling frequency. So let's do a test. Kilo India 6, November Alpha Zulu, radio test, radio test, Ed Fong J-Pole on 70 centimeters at 12.20 p.m. There you go. And while I missed three throws to get the antenna up, it was actually really easy. So let's pull this back down. And I will leave my clip. 3D printed clip. I'm gonna take up some of the slack here. You can see the EMP cloth. Let's go ahead and raise it up. Now this is a bit longer than the Ed Fong J pole, a uh, bit on distance. Now one of the things you have to consider is: is it truly as portable as the Ed Fong J pole? It feels like it's less, or it feels like it's more portable. But the reality is, you have to pack your own coax. Kilo India Six, November Alpha Zulu, transmitting on the Farah J antenna on two meters. Kilo India 6, November Alpha Zulu. Kilo India 6, November Alpha Zulu testing with the Farah J. This is on 70 centimeters at 12.23 p.m. Kilo India 6, November Alpha Zulu. Hey, that's it. It might be kind of hard to see on video, but here's the end of the Farah J and it goes all the way to the end. And here is the end of the Ed Fong which uh, matches the end of the Farah J. So the Farah J is quite a bit longer. I don't know why, that could be just a tuning. It could be the because of the materi material, don't know. So only the numbers will tell. So how do we do, Editor Josh? Tell us what the numbers are, please. Well, the results are good news, bad news, or good news, good news, if you like these type of videos, because we've got to make another one. If you can see here, the Ed Fong is about two, well, about one and, a, and some change dB better than the Farah J, which is great news for the Farah J because the Ed Fong was pretty much the killer two meter J pole antenna when we last did our test back in November of 2023. 
With that said, when you compare the numbers of today's test on the 25th of February to the November test, and you can see we have vastly different numbers just on two meters alone, some 10 dB lower for the Edfong today than before. So that means I likely have something wrong with my testing station. So we've got to make another video because I feel like the sensitivity of my receiver has gone down which means that's likely where the sensitivity to pick up 70 centimeters went along with it because we did pick up at least a signal, not enough to get an audio recording, but we got a signal of the Edfong in the past. So good news, we get to make another video. Bad news, we don't have definitive data to say where does the Farad J rank. But considering how close it is to the Edfong, I think we can assume that the Farad J is going to do a little bit better or be above the pack, if you will, in comparison to all the other J polls we tested back in November of 2023. Also, really interesting point that while we didn't pick up the Farad J on 70 centimeters, I found out after shooting this video that the Farad J is adjustable using those 3D printed hangers to basically take out portions of the antenna by folding it back over the top of that ribbon using the little slider there. And I'm actually able to dial in a really good SWR on 70 centimeters. So that's something we also need to test on video. So make sure you are tuned in for that because that's likely going to be the no holds barred uh, throwdown test of all J polls, the final end all be all, because I feel like my tree throwing method is the better one. No more type of mass to hold up and get different elevations. We can lock in that elevation really easily from the tree. So good news, Far J is a good performer, we think, uh, when we compare it to the Ed Fong. Bad news is we don't have that granularity of numbers yet, but we're going to. So make sure you subscribe and click that like button so I know these are actually videos you care about. You may or may not know my general opinion on antennas is that even if you have the greatest antenna, if it's a pain to set up and carry around, you're not gonna keep it on you. So that's why I like these portable j poles so much because they literally just roll up really simply. Ed Fong still a fantastic antenna regardless of what the numbers say on this test. Uh, I do really like this one though because look, it's just, it's literally just like a ribbon. It's almost like a ribbon that you could just put in your bag and take around everywhere with you. And the coax does add some weight. Take your ID50, throw that in there as well, and there's your little, there's your little get out of, there's your little go bag, Goody Tama go bag. Just kidding, I don't. <laughs> yeah, so Ed Fong J pull in comparison goes right in the bag. So yeah, um, I'm a fan. <laughs> I'll have links in the description, not just the Farad J, but also Ed Fong because it's still a good antenna too. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Really do appreciate it. 73.